here I set up office hours online with Blackboard's collaboration tool. So first of all you're going to navigate to your Blackboard class and then you're going to go down to the control panel and you would expand the course tool so you'd see all of them and you could go down here to collaboration. You can see there's a one named very similarly which is Blackboard Collaborate. This one you can record speaking voices, you can show PowerPoints, um, videos, that kind of thing. So, but what we're doing today is collaboration which is a text um, one-line tool. Okay, So we're going to go here and we're going to create a collaboration session. So we're going to name it Online Office Hours. And we would set up a date. So we're going to go from now to the end of the semester. So then we would click on the time. And then we're going to end it around the 24th. And again the time. You want to make sure that it is available and here where it says collaboration tool you will down arrow and be sure and choose chat and then you can just go ahead and submit it. Alright so then we could click on the online office hours and it would bring us in. This definitely needs Java so it's gonna um, you know uh, make sure you know you have that and it will prompt you if you don't. Um, all right. Now, as the moderator, you get to record, pause, stop, um, and with the X, you can um, end the session and everyone will leave. So right now, we're going to go ahead and hit the record button, and it'll put up a date stamp, and you can just use that, and you can say welcome, and you can spell correctly when you do it, but. Um, Anyway, so then you would just hit the send, or you can just hit enter, and we'll, we will continue. And then you also, your students would be in there, and they could go back and forth. You would see all of their names listed here, and you would have, um, you know, they could uh, get into the conversation also. When you are finished as the moderator, you can hit the stop button, and then you could click on the X to end it. Um, all right, and this would get rid of all of the users, and everybody in the group would get this message, and they could just say yes, and it would close that session. So you can go back to collaboration. You could down arrow next to the name of your session, and you could hit recordings. Students will also get this and be able to do it. They'll just get recordings. They won't get edit and delete. So you would click on this and then you could click on that. Okay, and you could see what was done. As a student, it's going to look more like this. So they could go here and they could click on tools in the content areas and they would click on collaboration. And then you could down arrow by this and hit recordings. And they would have the same thing that you just saw in your class. So that's how you can use the collaboration tool.